One of the most fundamental concepts in physics is energy conservation. In the universe, there's a certain amount of energy, and it can never go up, and it can never go down. It can never be created, it can never be destroyed. So this sounds like a pretty simple concept to use. It gets a little tricky because there's a lot of different kinds of energy, and the universe is kind of big. So what we do in intro mechanics is we define something we call the mechanical energy. So the mechanical energy just means the energies that we've talked about so far in this class. It's equal to the sum of the kinetic energy that we've talked about plus the potential energy. And for now, I'll put a G on there, meaning just the gravitational potential energy. So the idea is if you take an object uh, or a system and you calculate kinetic plus potential, that that will be constant. But we don't want to do the whole universe. We just want to do part of the universe. So we say for an isolated system. So maybe the system is just the object you're considering, or maybe it's two objects. Okay. So by isolated system, let's clarify a little bit there. We really mean that there's no external work. Or well, we don't mean there's no external work. We mean that this will be constant if there is no external work coming into the system. And uh, while we say constant, we mean this part, the whole thing is constant. So you can transfer between k and u. So in your system, you can have the potential increase and decrease, the kinetic in can increase and de decrease, but their sum is equal to the mechanical energy and it's constant. Okay. So this is a fairly simple idea. You'll see it written uh, different ways in books. Because it's a constant, we think of it in terms of changes a lot. So another way to say this is that the change in mechanical energy is zero. Same thing, right? If it's constant, that means we could write it this way. The final mechanical energy minus the initial mechanical energy is zero. You could even write it this way. You might see it written this way. The final mechanical energy equals the initial mechanical energy. So you can see we're just doing a little algebra, writing this all these different ways. They all mean the same thing, is that the mechanical energy um, is constant. You can even break it up into these two. So maybe you'll see it written uh, this way. Let's see if um, the change in mechanical energy equals, um, uh, let's see, the uh, final minus in the initial, we already wrote that, right? So the final mechanical energy is the final kinetic energy plus the final potential energy. I'll leave off the gravitational G for now, we'll just call it UF. And that would be minus the initial kinetic energy, uh, minus the initial mechanical energy, so initial K plus initial I, all right? And that must be equal to zero, right? Oh, then if you rearrange this a little bit, you see that it's equal to the final kinetic minus the final initial plus the final potential minus the initial potential equals zero, which means that the delta K plus, whoops, delta U equals zero. So this is another way you'll see this statement written quite a bit. These are all saying the exact same thing, is that if nothing comes in and does external work, then this total energy will be the same. So you can think of it as the total energy. You can think of it as the small changes between the kinetic and the potential. You can also see this one as how we have this transfer. Maybe this goes up and this goes down. Then we transferred um, some of our kinetic energy into potential energy. So the idea to apply it to a problem is often actually intuitive. You don't have to go through this thought process. But when you see it written in books in these various forms, you'll often see that one, you'll often see this one. But to make sure you understand, really, these all mean the same thing.